Hi everyone, <laughs> it's Jean, and I'm going to play with this. I don't really do it well, <laughs> but I've I've been um, I've been practicing. Um, this is uh, transferring transferring um, images from a magazine onto a book page. So, um, I thought I, I've, I've done them and I, and I get them where I can get most of the, most of the, the paper, the back paper off. And on this one, uh, and this one, I think I have most of it, most of it off. I maybe could work on it a little bit more. If you work on it too much, you start removing the image. So it's a question of where do you stop? And um, so far, I've not, just not been really successful with this, but it's fun. And I thought as long as I'm doing it and I'm outside and I'm having my morning coffee in my pretty mug, I wish I could tip it so you could see the, the birds on it. Um, I'm having my morning coffee and I thought well I it, I might as well have have my camera going in case I am successful <laughs> so anyway um, these are some that I've made uh, now the way you make them is you take your Mod Podge and you paint a book page and you're supposed to paint a, or, or paint a, you know, your paper. And you're not supposed to put too much on or too little on. And I think that's where my problem is. Um, I'm not sure exactly how much to put on. But let me get my, let me find a book page for you. And we'll see, and I'll, I'll get another one started here. I, my Mod Podge <laughs> is really thick, and I think it's because I've had it so long. This little jar has lasted me a long time. I guess because I, I just don't use it enough. But it's nice and thick, and and um, which may account for some of the problems with this. Um, now, oh, I know what I was using. I was using this World War II book because it had nice thick pages um, with text. I may have ripped out most of the pages with text, but here's some text. I got out the pictures that I really liked out of this book and um, I like to do things um, kind of upside down because I don't really want um, I don't really want the, <laughs> the text to be read exactly so So that um, that can be a little bit of an issue um, if you're you're getting a book and um, I chose this particular book like I said for the thick page uh, the, the nicer paper is it's a nice heavy paper it has natural aging color to it because it's an older book and to think where the uh, paintbrush is that I used originally but it might have been this one because this one's kind of stuck together so I think I just poured some on there And 
it's got some some water from the paintbrush. Oh gosh, it might have been helpful if I had picked out a picture ahead of time. I'm sure I can come up with something pretty quick, but um, it is better to be more prepared. Um, now, this isn't really horribly thick. But it's not brushed on thin, you know. Thin to me is is like that. Thin is like that. That's that's thicker. So I'm trying to let me see if I can get this glue off the brush. I really need more. Um, I need more. Um, water out here. Since I've been working out here, I bring water out in a bottle so that I can add water to my paints or, or whatever. Okay, so I'm just covering that up. And let me see, do I have any books out here that I really want to Let me try that. I buy all these little, uh, yeah, that's the picture I wanted. <laughs> now, this is um, a thicker, this might be too thick. I hope I'm not wasting my image that I like. Let me try, let me get an image that I'm not extremely tied to. You know what? I don't even actually want to do that. I want to get a different book. I want to get a different image. I've got some magazines out here. Let me try an image out of a magazine because you have to take all the paper off from behind it. So I think a book that that book image that I just pulled out is just too 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 thick okay I think this one will work oh I hate it when I want that image and I want that image Hmm. Um, well, I may have to decide. I think I want the bigger image. So now I'm back to the drawing board, picking out another image. One of my favorite magazines to use uh, for images, um, well, aside from that, that decorating one that I have just, it's called Decor. Um, but one that you'll just find everywhere is um, Oprah's magazine. She has wonderful graphics. And I've pulled from this book so much already. I'm not finding... Usually I discard a book. Oh, look at this. Definitely want this image. So, um, let me just lay that image right there. And we'll have some side pieces we can use elsewhere but this is great. 
Okay, you won't get to see me do this one because it's got to dry. And the more naturally it dries uh, in the nice hot sun, the better. Okay, so that's that's how you do it. You just spread some um, Mod Podge on a page of text and then a magazine image on top. Okay, and this is... This is how you take an image off. Now, I bet this is one of those little monkey ones. <laughs> and you have to you have to get the page wet. And um, I think some people brush it with water with a, with a regular um, foam brush. But to me, a small sponge works really well and one of the things I think I do is I start rolling it off too soon so I'm going to let this one I'm going to let this one um, soak really well and get really wet before I start pulling it off and let's see if I do a little bit better with that one of the pieces that I did I that I didn't get a lot of the paper off. Um, was this one. And I really like the image. It's a little garden and a pond and flowers and there's a dragonfly up here and a frog and there's just you know all kinds of wonderful things going on in this image but i didn't get enough of the paper off of it so i thought oh well it looks better when it's wet and it does look better when it's wet um you can see it much more clearly when it's wet but i thought okay um what I'll do is I'll put glue on it and then it'll look wet all the time but it doesn't it, that doesn't uh, the the glue or sealer or anything it doesn't it dries and it it doesn't stay and give it that nice wet look so now that the glue is on there there's no way I'm going to get any more paper off of it so that's all I'm going to have with that one. But you can see my thought process was, and this is just to save you from a mistake, of, especially with an image you love. You just got to keep chunking away at that paper to get the clearer image. So anyway, now that's been, that's been soaking for a minute and it's been wet. So what you do is you just kind of push. Well, it doesn't feel very wet now. I've been talking too long. You know what I need? I need a nice big drink of coffee. Because this is my first cup of the morning and it's been so hot here um, that I haven't been able to work outside in the, in the patio one my patio studio um, and the air conditioner was on in the house and I thought I'm just gonna have my coffee out on the patio and I'm really really happy uh, because it's just beautiful out here this morning so I'm loving being out yeah I get that part get that part started And I'm just going to start rolling this up. Boy, this is this is tougher than um, than normal.
keep it pretty wet. I wonder if it's because I've left it for several days to dry. Anyway, the back paper just rolls right off. And one of the things that when you're thinking about it, and the reason I used this one is because if you have text, if you have text, it's gonna be reverse. But since this text is in another language and even another alphabet, I can't tell which way is correct anyway. So, it does seem to come off pretty well um, when you soak it a little bit more. So that's that one, and the only thing that I'm really seeing is the the text on there. So surely I have one with more of a picture. So let's try try that again. And we'll see what, uh, I probably should have been soaking, so I might just soak a couple of these while I'm at it because now I've got to wait through the whole soaking process again. So let's get this soaked and start getting these nice and wet. And we'll see what's under them because I have totally forgotten what I had. Uh, I did find all those cute little monkeys <laughs> in, the, um, in the Oprah magazine. Oh, and I better be careful because um, I have been having my coffee every morning since um, I bought my Yeti and I've been enjoying hot coffee even if it takes me two hours to drink it. Hot coffee every sip. I can already tell that this has significantly cooled down just while I'm sitting here talking and not drinking because it's not in my Yeti. Ooh, cute. The squirrel just hopped across the yard. Didn't just run, it hopped. I have squirrels and rabbits, and thank goodness I don't have the um, the snakes and the armadillos and the raccoons that I had in Florida. I don't miss the wildlife, that's for sure. Well, this will be fun to see what I've got because <laughs> I have totally forgotten what pictures I've used. And you get to see me learning and experimenting with something. Okay, this looks like a person. And I have a feeling that this type of image transfer is always going to be um, kind of almost like you have uh, a little bit of napkin, thin napkin over it. I have a feeling it's not going to be a, a real clear image because this rolls off really well, but I can't seem to get that. Yeah, I, I like that. Now, I don't know why I didn't get all of her hair, but that's okay. Because I like the image. Let's give this another good soak.
Yep, we're getting another layer off here. Nope, that's just the original layer. And, oh, <laughs> that was that was the monkey peeking around from behind her. But I kind of like the way she's sitting, and I think that this will make um, a nice little um, a nice little piece to a nice little focal piece if I can get enough of the. Um, whoops I used the wrong side and look I tore some of the yeah see I've got some of the image off so you guys will probably do better than I am doing but that seems to be about as much of the image as I'm going to be able to see because anymore I tear the image. The image is, is getting off. So now a few days ago, um, last week, I went with um, Deb met up with her um, in a city in between her city and my city here in Ohio and um, we just we just had the best time we had a really good time we went to um, went to a library to do our crafting and they had just everything you need everything you need for crafters so it was really quite quite fun And um, I was telling her about these and, you know, how I was doing it. She said, you can do the same thing using a piece of um, clear tape. And I have a feeling if you're using the clear tape, your image is going to be much sharper. I love unrolling it and seeing what the image is. It's like a surprise. <laughs> and you it's, did you notice the with love that I just rolled off? That wasn't on the image. That was on the back side of the paper. And you can tell that because you could read it. It wasn't backwards. Because my first thought when I started rolling it off was, oh no. <laughs> I'm rolling off these words. But this is really fun. And if you know you're going to get kind of a soft focus image, and that's what you're go that's what you're um, going for then this is this is really really this is really really fun to do let me get this a little wet again and clean up all my little roll-ups if only they were fruit okay Oh, I see. Um, I have torn it. So what I have here that I haven't taken off is right here is the gesso part that I didn't cover. Okay, this is fun. This is very fun. And
there's my image. Okay. And you can see that's her face and her hair and that and that person. And these are all um, drawn images. Oh yeah, I like that. That turned out nice. Now, but it's gonna dry. It's gonna dry more uh, subdued. Because this is how it looks when it's wet. But if I rub too much, I'm going to rub off the image. So, so, and now don't you think that if you put like a glue on it right now that it would look wet and stay this color? No, no, it doesn't. And that's what I was showing you earlier on this other one. Because see, it's already dried up some. And when you wet it back down, you see the image so much nicer. So this will dry into more of a, a softer look. So I should research it a little bit more, but That's um, for another time, I guess. See, this one, this one just really did not, it did not come out nearly as clear. Okay, let's try this one. Let's see what's behind this. I've got this. And I've got this. To unroll. Get it nice and wet. Let it sit for a minute. And I'll try and fast forward this while I drink my coffee. Isn't that a pretty, pretty cup? I just love that cup. And I found it at the Goodwill, not the bins, but at the thrift store. And they only wanted 69 cents for it. And I looked it up, it's uh, Garden Birds by Roy Kirkham. And they wanted, they were getting uh, around 16 to $20 per, per cup on eBay. And especially like if I was on vacation somewhere, that's probably, I would have been, I would be happy to pay that. You know, I wonder if it's because I let that other one soak so much. Yeah. Yeah, this comes off really nice it rolls off really nice but I was really expecting it to be a brighter a brighter image so And as you can see, by rolling this off, I'm, I'm losing some of the, um, I'm getting more off here, but I'm losing also some of the color, some of the original color. So I think that is what you're supposed to be going for. <laughs> okay. I think that's what you're supposed to be going for.
And that's my play. So, it's nice because it doesn't have that shiny magazine image or, or uh, the shiny magazine uh, um, surface. And it is nice because when it's dry, the all the rest of the little pieces um, do brush right off. Getting a little bit more off of here. But I think um, I think the longer you soak it, the more of the other paper does come off. I think that's that might be the trick in soaking because we're seeing some more brighter image like there than we are there and this one soaked probably the longest but um, I'm afraid that if I uh, Rub, yep, yep. You just can't um, you can't rub off any more than than that, and that's fine because I'm still going to use it because it even looks more antiquey with some of the picture rubbed off, um, or more vintage or older or has that. Uh, I can't really say what kind of a look it has. But one thing about the gesso, too, is um, you don't, I don't, I can see that you don't want to put a whole lot more gesso on there than where you're putting the picture because I'm losing all the nice text where I had the gesso because the gesso doesn't rub off. So, so that's another thing that you want to be careful of. This is this is you learning from my mistakes. And if you try this, it's actually very fun to try. And it's very relaxing to roll that off. And then and I do remember them saying that it's um it takes time to roll it off. But I'm I'm not seeing it. Now that's the papers that I've torn. Oh, I have this one. Did I, I yeah, I already did get, get this one wet. I think this is my last one. I'm gonna do a video on my library trip. later I feel like that lady has a headache <laughs> but one thing about um, doing something like this It's, you, you haven't spent a lot of money and you're not wasting, you know, a lot of valuable art supplies by experimenting with this. This one really doesn't, didn't want to roll at first. I'm kind of curious what I've got behind there. And um, 
I wish I could remember who it was that was doing this, but I do remember they say not to rush it. And I do, I can see I tend to rush because I get anxious. I'm not anxious, upset anxious, but I get uh, interested to see what's, I'm, I'm in a hurry to see what's under there. What did I choose for an image? Uh, just some conversation balloons. <laughs> Nothing particularly spectacular. I think I didn't really want to use anything that I absolutely loved because the first few that I did, I wasn't too much, I wasn't any more successful with it as I am with this. So, um, So, truthfully, that's that's the best it's going to be, and that's the um, that's the image that you're going to have as a softer look to your magazine image. But and you can see the you can see the book pages coming through, which is nice. And I like that and then I would probably tear tear this more like this to use it in a journal somewhere and you can see the image you can see the the, the book text coming through in a softer image and um, but I don't think it'd make a good focal point it's just not um, focally enough <laughs> is that a word focally so <laughs> I feel like I'm rambling oh my goodness I'm rambling um, but that's you know that was my test and that's what happened to me when i tried this procedure oh see now there's one of the monkeys before that's that's how it looks coming out of the magazine and that's how they look on the text and I like them both ways. I do. I like it both ways. But, um, I'm not quite sure how I want to use this on a page. And I think that's going to make a big difference how it's used to, to how much I like it. Um, at this point, I like the brighter image better then I like the softer image. But it depends on how it's used in the book and how I use it in an arrangement in a collage. So so we'll see. We'll we'll do uh, we'll do both of those and, and uh, we'll see how that we'll see how that goes. Okay. Thanks for watching and <laughs> I wish I could show you something where I'm a little more successful today, but it is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> okay, goodbye.